Are we rolling? Uh, yeah. Sure. Okay. Okay, I thought that was gonna spin back. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my channel. Today's Ooh. video is gonna be on 3D printing. Is it real? Is it fake? Is it really happening? We don't know, but we're gonna find out in this video. Also, I have a brand new beauty room that Smashbox created just, just kidding. I was gonna film this intro at home, but I came here at Smashbox to find out about 3D printing, and then they had this cool setup, so I just plopped down the chair, and they set up all this stuff, and there's a bunch of camera people behind me. <laughs> oh, and I got my cool friend Kristen with me. from Smashbox and I've never heard of 3D printed makeup ever in my life. I haven't either. So Sounds crazy. We gotta find out more. I think it makes for a great video and we're gonna test it out as one of my Does It Work series because we don't know yet. We've never seen it. Mm -mm. Ah, so we're gonna explore more. We'll jump right in. Let's go. Hey guys, in today's video we're talking about 3D printed makeup. So this is something like futuristic and weird and I actually got to play with it at Smashbox. They invited me over to their studios and I thought it would be a great opportunity to make a does it work uh, video with it and add on to my series because it's something cool and crazy in makeup. So I went over to Smashbox Studios and they showed us their B Legendary Lipsticks being 3D printed and I'm like, what exactly does that mean? Does it work? How is it happening? Like the whole thing just kind of confused me because I've heard about 3D printing before, but I didn't even know that it really existed and some of you guys may not have. So Smashbox is innovating it into makeup. So they actually had the printer there. Here's a 3D printer and we're gonna be printing out first my signature that I wrote on the mirror in there. So let's see what happens. And what we did is we did our kiss print and they pulled that print from like our kiss and they created a 3D version of that. So the printer just was very weird. It made sounds like it was really cool. And we got to close up watch this little needle spit out lipstick and like like create exactly the print that they put into the computer which was our lips and they did our signatures as well which I thought was really cool so it definitely happened and it definitely worked what the printer does it does like a really straight line of a uh, lipstick it's actually the be legendary lipstick shade that we are wearing it's the actual product and it did like a straight line of it to clear off the tip of like the pin and then it comes onto the circle tray and then it like creates whatever design it's told to create and it just pours it in that exact design and it 3D prints the lipstick. So here are my lips and here is the creation. This is actually lipstick on this tray and honestly I first thought that's not a lot of lipstick and then I actually used this one which is what's on my lips exactly right now and so that is pretty thick it's thicker than what it looks like on the tray and so or on the mirror i should say and so that little gash in it right there covered my whole entire lips i've been wearing this lipstick for like probably two or three hours so it, it's been on my lips for a while but just this little bitty gash and it covered my whole entire lip so I think you could get like a, a week's worth of lipstick out of this little thing you can literally dip your lipstick brush in this and that's how you would use it with your finger or your just your lipstick brush and oh, it kind of pains me to mess it up but look you just swipe it on there and you apply it to your lips which my lips definitely need a touch up so by the way, this is Fireball Matte, which is one of their Be Legendary lipsticks. After it was printed on here and like dried, I thought it would be really hard and like crusty on there, but as you can see, it definitely isn't. It just feels like regular lipstick. So when applying it, the lipstick texture and all is the exact same as a regular tube lipstick. So it's kind of cool that the printer doesn't actually change the formula of the lipstick. It feels just like it did in the tube. I think it would be even cooler if they printed them out like in the tube. Maybe we'll be able to see that one day. But as of right now, they are just printing like I could literally like print like a picture of my cat in lipstick. Whatever you want the thing would do. So I just think that that's 
really cool that Smashbox is bringing 3D printing to life. A big question I know I'm gonna get asked is, are these for sale? Can the customer go in and go buy this? As of right now, Smashbox is not selling this, but maybe in the future they might be. I don't know, they haven't said, but that would be kind of cool if you were able to send in whatever and they printed it out in one of their lipstick shades because they have 120 shades, so I mean, that would be kind of a cool thing. But the next thing, me and Tyler were asking like, could you guys, <laughs> print out like a tube of lipstick like the whole tube with the printer and they actually said that they could do that they just didn't have the container manufactured to do that so they couldn't do it like while we were there but they said it is possible that they can do that so yeah that was kind of my rundown on experimenting with 3d printing and it was really cool and thank you smashbox for letting us come in your studios and have all this fun and printing my lips so yeah that's it for this video i hope it gave you more information and was insightful on 3d printing with makeup I think that that's so cool um, I think it's very innovative and I like that the texture of the makeup still the same thank you guys for being here and watching and I hope to see you all in my next video bye guys